My name is Steve Swatoa, team president for the Greensboro Swarm. And on behalf of the Swarm, we wanted to welcome everybody here to Peeler Blueford Elementary School this, this morning with our great help and friends with Bank of America, Derek Ellington, our friend Seth Bennett with the Hornets, and Dr. Dawson with Guilford uh, County Schools. We want to thank a lot of people here today. Uh, Justin, Courtney with Bank of America, Justin from our team, the Hornets staff who've uh, arrived this morning, Greensboro staff that's arrived as well with the Hornets, um, and more importantly, of course, the kids, the volunteers, and Bank of America for helping us today <clears throat> for this great event. Good. So why are we here? Well, for us in Greensboro, Sunday afternoon, April 15th, sitting home watching TV, um, weather coming in from the west, um, all of a sudden we saw pictures and video of the destruction of this area. We had no idea how severe it really was um, until pictures started flowing in that evening, that afternoon, we had staff members reaching out saying, hey, are you aware of what's happening here? Um, there were three schools damaged, as well as homes and other places of business. And we wanted to figure out a way to give back to the community. The very next day, we got on the phone with the Hornets and said, we have some huge destruction in this community, and we've got to find a way to help. So with the help of Seth and the Hornets staff and our great team here in Greensboro, we reached out to Derek Ellington from Bank of America and said, we're going to do something. And I believe we were the, sports, the first sports team in this market that said we're going to make a contribution on behalf of this uh, school. Now, don't forget, Sarge, you've been a part of us as well, right? <laughs> we were here our first year coming into this market back in 2015-16. Um, and we, we had an assembly here. Yeah. And um, I'd be remiss, Ms. Lockhart, yeah. thank you so we much did. for your help. <laughs> so many, many months passed and we made a commitment to this school that we wanted to help. Not only financially, but from a volunteer perspective, from a resource perspective. And lo and behold, today is the day. Um, this is not the first day, nor the last day, because we will be back here sometime in October when our team gets to training right. camp. And so we'll have our players out here helping with some of the kids and yeah. other things happening here. So today is a great day for this organization. Our organization is together. This is really our first official day of service with Bank of America and obviously with the Hornets and the relationship that they have with Bank of America in Charlotte. So on behalf of our organization, thank you. And I want to turn it over to Seth Bennett. Thank you, Steve. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, first of all, Principal Lockhart, thank you for welcoming thank us you. here and give us the opportunity for being here. Dr. Dawson, on behalf of Guilford County Schools, we appreciate you allowing us to come in and try and make an impact on the uh, school community here. Um, I'm sure some are aware, but our, our connection to Blueford runs really deep. Our president and uh, vice chairman, Fred Whitfield, was actually educated here. And, uh, we know that uh, you know this is a, a area that's near and dear to his heart. Yes. So I'm sure he appreciates uh, our Hornet staff, certainly our Swarm staff being here. Uh, also glad to see our, our general manager of our Swarm basketball team, uh, Mr. Cam Twist, joining us here. Thank you, Cam, for coming up to be a part of this as well. Um, you know, we selected Greensboro as the home for our G League affiliate for a lot of reasons. And in that process, we knew that we have to find positive ways to impact the community. And you know, over the past couple of seasons, as the support has grown, uh, we feel it's necessary also to continue to grow our, our support back and give back to the community. Uh, the day of the service, our day of service is another step in the right direction for that. Um, in the time of need, being able to come together with great partners like Bank of America to try and make an impact. You know, as Steve mentioned, our swarm and our Hornets organization uh, took immediate action after tornado relief efforts uh, and made the $10,000 donation to Guilford County Schools Relief Fund, 
created by the Community Foundation of Greater Greensboro. And we're, we're actually proud of, of that uh, accomplishment. To demonstrate our long lasting relationship, uh, this day of service was uh, arranged to help give back, provide some resources, and hopefully as a way to motivate the young students on the inside, that they can see that even in a tough time, the community will be here to support them and give them the foundation that they need to continue to uh, build upon their education, which is probably the most important piece. And certainly none of this would be possible without our partnership with Bank of America. Uh, we've had an outstanding model in Charlotte. We partnered on a number of days of service events there. And you know we're delighted to be able to bring that model here to Greensboro uh, for Steve and his staff to have that opportunity to expand upon that. So you know we'll continue to work hard on the court and off the court to earn our way to be a part of this community, just as we do in, uh, in our efforts in Charlotte on a day-to-day -day basis. Thankful again for the opportunity to serve the community. And uh, I'd like to ask uh, Derek Ellington uh, from Bank of America to have a few remarks. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Derek Ellington, uh, Triad President for Bank of America. We're excited to be here uh, and partnering with the Swarm and with Guilford County Schools. Thank you, Principal Lockhart, for the opportunity to be here to uh, celebrate what should be the beginning of some great things to come for the combination of both Blueford and Peeler. Yes. So let's let's just say together, if I say Blueford, you say Peeler. <laughs> so how about that? Can we All do right, that? Do that? Can everybody do yeah. that? Oh, yeah. can, we, can we do that, Sarge? Yeah. Blueford! Peeler! Blueford! Peeler! Blueford! Peeler! All right, that's what we're here for today, Let's right? We're here to, to celebrate this great combination, to bring resources from the community here, uh, to respond and, and let these kids get off to what's gonna be the best year of their school experience, their new experience at Blueford Peeler. And we've got the great fortune of being a part of that. At Bank of America, we look for opportunities to partner in our community and try to make a difference. When this great opportunity came along to bring that combination of us, the Swarm, and Guilford County Schools together, it was, it was a great opportunity for us. Um, we are very involved in this community already uh, through our volunteer hours, over 15,000 hours logged this year already. And uh, when the tornado hit, we immediately started talking internally about what we could do to try and support uh, those impacted here in East Greensboro. So our Bank of America Charitable Foundation quickly assembled and we were able to provide a $25,000 gift to the United Way in support of the tornado relief. And we're not finished. That was our initial contribution. This is a continuation being here today and there are many more things that we have planned to try and help in response to uh, what was an initial tragedy, but I feel like in the end, East Greensboro will be stronger than it was before the tornado as a result of a lot of community partners coming together and helping uh, with the effort and responding to the need in the community. So I'm excited about it. I hope you're excited about the opportunity to be here today and to make a difference for these students. Uh, we're looking forward to planting a tree today together, and that tree is going to symbolize this partnership between yeah. Bank of America, the Swarm, and Guilford County Schools, and a new beginning going forward. And that tree is something that we're going to come back and see. We're going to see it grow, and that's what we want to see this partnership do in East Greensboro. Grow, flourish, and something that we can come back and we can reflect on our past, but we can look forward to the future together. So I'm excited, I hope you're excited about the opportunity today. So now I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Uh, Catherine Dawson from Guilford County Schools, who is our uh, Guilford County Schools Chief uh, Inno Innovation Officer, and she's gonna share some comments as well. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Dr. Contreras, our superintendent of Guilford County Schools and all of Guilford County Schools, we just want to say thank you so much for all of your time and dedication in supporting our students as they deserve the best. It is the coming together of partners that will, that's what's going to take to make sure that we are providing the foundation that our students need for, for their dreams to come true and for the lives that they deserve. And 
it was Martin Luther King Jr. that once said that we are all capable of being great because we can all serve. And you are all role models and modeling that for our children and we thank you so much because they look to you to see themselves. And you're showing them how great that we can be as we serve one another and to support our children and their education. And I want to say thank you to Principal Lockhart for her leadership as she has brought together our two communities and to serve them in making sure that this has been a fluid experience for our kids. Our kids deserve the best and you are helping to give that. Again, on behalf of Guilford County Schools, I want to thank you so much.